I'll be on the side of being mad. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not mad either way. Uh, I I would understand the change if they made it. What should they do? But if you ask me, I'd I'd, I'd keep him and get him help in personnel. So you're already kind of trying to get Bill help. Yeah. So now go to the front office and say, yeah, we want you back, but like the talent is the problem. I, I the, the team plays hard. And I know you don't get any bonus points for playing hard, but I watch the league. There's some badass teams out there. This isn't a bad team. They make stupid mistakes at times, yeah. But talent, I think, forces some of those mistakes. All right, meanwhile, Jordan Schultz of Bleacher Report laid out some scenarios himself today and noted that he believes Belichick and Kraft will meet at the end of the season. Ted Johnson on postgame this past Sunday said he believes the meeting needs to happen right now. All right, Mike, here we are, a week yeah. to go, less than a week to go. The rubber's about to meet the road. Where do you think we are at this moment? Uh, I think we're in a fluid situation. Really? I think it's fluid, yeah. I, I think as it gets closer, the reality starts to sink in for all parties involved. Reality starts to sink in for Belichick. Hey, is this it for me here? I really don't want to go. How do I stay? Robert Kraft, okay, I'm going to do this. Not fear, but okay, this is going to happen, and this is what I need with the next head coach. And so, and, and then some fans, and I know some fans are totally ready to move on. Hey, got it. But I think there's a segment of the fan base that says, wait a minute. Uh, what are you going to do here? You're moving on from Bill Belichick. Now, the Zolak's proposal there, the reason I'm doubtful of this is because it would be to get really to do it the right way and keep Belichick, it would be the Bill Belichick storefront. <laughs> I mean, it's just really Belichick and name only because you don't just have to fix personnel. Michael, you got to fix the coaching staff. The offense. So and, when, and, and, but the whole staff, but not just the offense, the coaching staff. You, you think about who's on this staff. You've got, you know, you've got his sons. You've got Troy Brown. You've got Mayo. You've got uh, uh, friends of, uh, of lacrosse buddies. Yeah, you've got I, all these I, people who, yeah, they're friends of Bill, relatives of Bill. But should, are they the best coaches for your operation? So you got a lot to fix. I can't predict the future, and I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I believe he's done. He mm -hmm. should be done. And these half measures, really, they don't add up, Mike. So you're going to have Bill Belichick as your head coach, but now he's going to have nothing to do with personnel. Okay. He's going to have nothing to do with offense because I don't want him touching the offense either, and neither should the Crafts. Right. Okay, you're going to have to blow out half of his staff because, as you said, they're kids and cronies and buddies from the lacrosse world. So now you have Bill Belichick as a coach, but he has nothing to do with what's going on upstairs with personnel. He has nothing to do with the other half of the building with offense, and half of his hand-chosen people have been gutted because they all suck. But you're going to keep him? Oh, stop it, please. It's, They're not going to do that. They shouldn't do that. And if they did, it'd be a real mistake. It, it's, but, Mike, what, oh, another way of looking at it is Bill Belichick 2.0. It's a, it's, a, it's a new and improved Bill Stop. Belichick. It's, going, it's really in line, though. If you're going to do it, uh, you, you would say it's in line with the way most modern NFL franchises run. Whether oh, it's, yeah. Whether it's, whether it's Andy Reid Okay, but Mike, if Kansas you had a first-year head coach, fine, you do yeah. that. But, but Andy Reid, I mean, you're right. Andy Reid does do that. Uh, Bill Belichick, who's done it the exact opposite way his whole career. You got to adjust. Andy Reid did that in Philly. So Adapter he's fine die. doing it in Kansas City. Bill's not going to do that. Oh, would he suck? Well, would he be a pain in the ass internally? You, you think he'd play nice with his hand-chosen boss at GM? You think he hasn't played nice with this quarterback? He's going to play nice with the next quarterback? He's going to play nice with the next offensive coordinate? You know, it ain't going to work. So, you, would so, you, but, so you're saying you want that. You want that setup. No, no, I don't think it will work. I don't know what I'm saying. It was just it, it, Zolak's proposal is deeper than he points out. Yeah, yeah. It just goes. It's just too many ripples. It's just too much to correct. It's almost like, you know, it's like if you like, uh, I'll talk about houses. If you like a modern house and you try to turn a modern house into a Victorian, it's just not going to work, or vice versa. It's just not going to work. No matter what you do, it's just the structure of it is the structure of it. So. It's just too many things to rewire so, for it to uh, work effectively. Okay, so I just spent the first six minutes bashing Bill Belichick, and as long as this is in the balance, I will continue to. Mm -hmm. But i got to be honest with you, Mike. Yeah? I don't want to. I think, I think we should be discussing all the good things he's done over the last 24 years, and we should be talking about there, 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 there should be a different tonality to this week. And ideally, if I'm the Crafts, I'm telling him now. I'm telling him now. I may be even letting it leak. And, you know, hopefully Bill's on board with it because I, I, I don't know what, you know, he has. If he's gone, he's gone. And they come to some sort of understanding. 
And then Sunday becomes something of a send off, Mike, something of a different tone versus what it is right now. If this is in the balance, yeah, okay. I'll bash him all week to make sure okay. that he's gone. But now, if, if he's gone, I think we can turn this final week into something of a goodbye. And I think that would be a nice, a nice something for the team. Yeah, but I, okay, I, I understand what you're saying, but a couple things that just kind of make me go to that. One, if they win this game, they're five and twelve. So who wants to say like it, Bill Belichick would say, "I don't want my goodbye associated with." Hey, you remember that night? Remember that afternoon we said goodbye to you? You beat the Jets. He's like, "Yeah, I always beat the Jets." You finished five and twelve. There was no confetti. It was just a really nice, warm moment. You, you got to separate. The, this season yes. from Bill Belichick's yes. career. That's one. That's what we're and doing. Then, and then the second thing is, are, they, are, you, are you sure that the Crafts want to do this right now and Belichick wants to do this right now? Because if, if there's a trade happening, maybe there's some, some type of solution where the Crafts say, if we tip our hands now, we're not going to be able to trade with the Chargers, or trade with the Commanders. So why would we do that? Why would we let it leak? And then we lose our leverage. Because there's not a trade. It's a firing. There's, they don't have much. So you don't think, you don't think a trade is going to happen? I mean, that would surprise you? Yes, absolutely. Really? He'd be fired anyway. Why would a team trade anything for someone who's about to be fired? Well, well so because, if, because the person about to be fired. Like, well, let me just ask you, because I'm, I'm presuming something. Maybe I shouldn't. Do you think he can still coach? Do limited, you think he's. Limited. Limited ceiling. Low ooh, ceiling. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. So I think a lot of people uh, in the league, not a lot of people, in a handful of teams in a league and owners in a league, Disagree with you. And I disagree with you, too. I think he can still coach. A whole football team? Yes. Offense? Well, I mean, most guys can't. Most oh, guys. He's one of them. He's most, just another well, guy saying, like but that. Most, but most, yeah. So, yeah, keep him away from the offense because look what happened. But most of the great coaches in football right now, whoever you think is great, they're not great all around. Okay. So, Belichick that's pretty does. much standard.